done a lot of thinking in the past uh, shit couple weeks. Never felt like I really needed to like show my face on social media. I never really wanted to like pander to people. I feel like I kind of made a realization that needs to be said and it's pretty simple. I feel like it should be like understood. It's weird, the people you come up with, they're your friends, they fuck with you. They, 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 I'm not gonna say they pretend to fuck with what you do. Music wise, whether it be playing guitar, producing, rapping, singing, whatever it may be, it's weird the way that they they support you as a person, but then as soon as you get deep into that fucking grind and shit, you start to notice that if it doesn't benefit them directly, they kind of stop. You'll notice like certain people get tired of being with you for the grind. I don't, I don't mean in the sense of like, they don't want to support you, they don't, you, you know, it takes a different system these days. It takes people actively fucking pushing your shit, which is fucked up. Like, it should be as simple as like, you send your shit off, there's just, there's so much fucking data. There's so much shit that's just out there that you can't get your shit, like, played. It's not about the plays. I'm just saying that it's a very common thing that I've heard about from artists. They'll either support the fuck out of you or they won't support you at all. They just stop caring. And then it gets to a point where it's like, you could either be that guy who's sending out fucking messages to like every fucking body and you're just begging for the attention. And that shit don't that shit don't feel good, especially as like an artist who's really got some shit to say. That shit that shit don't feel good. It's like you can dump all your stuff online, and then there will be you know a select percentage. You can do what everyone else is doing and reach a much wider audience. But it seems as if when you do that, there's such a saturated market that it just falls into the echo chamber. And if you do what's really important to you and you don't worry about the plays, then a lot of times, most people won't fuck with you. And then you end up falling into this fucking category of like, of niche, of, of fucking weird shit. And, and you can continue that grind long enough and fucking end up successful, making some money, doing shit like that. But it's like, I don't know, it creates this disposable concept of your fucking music, of what it becomes. It's like, it's like it just gets, it's, it's, you, you make it, you put it out, it gets played out for a week, and then the shit just falls off like a fucking shelf. And then it's just fucking, who cares? You know? It's just weird to me to realize that there's kind of like this fucking balance shift. Where the more you as an artist truly support other artists, those other artists don't take that shit for granted. It's not a light trade. It's it's not like, oh, well, let me share your shit and, and you know, you share my shit. It, it has nothing to do with sharing. It has to do with pure, unadulterated support. And that shit is fucking potent. And, and I'm just realizing that shit, especially with this past week, having having four different projects drop that I was a part of. I mean, I had my solo shit, I had the Polo Joe EP, Justice dropped something that I assisted with engineering and I produced one, it might have been a couple, and Skirt Cobain dropped one that I engineered on. And it's not about the quantity, it's about the fact that these, these people fuck with me. I genuinely feel that they fuck with me, and there's a lot of them. It's not just like one or two people, it's like a fuck ton of people that fuck with me. And yet, Still, to this day, if I send off a song, I may have spent a year and a half on one track, just consistently looking at it, being unsure about it, fucking, you know, tweaking it. Oh, I don't like that tone. I don't like the way my cadence is. I don't like the way the beat hits. I gotta fucking, you know, engineer some shit. But then you see that even with your homies, the people that you grew up with, the people that know you, that care about you, that you fucking love, that you respect, that are fucking so close to you and shit, you just start to realize that even to them, it's all numbers. I rap about it and shit, and you may miss it. I, you know, it's one bar here, one bar there. It may be a whole song, I don't fucking know. You start to realize that it's literally like, if you say you wanna work with someone, they're more likely to go to your social medias, look at your following, look at your play count on Spotify, look at your play count on Apple Music, look at your play count on SoundCloud, everything. Check and see how working with you will benefit them 
before they ever take a listen. And that's something that I can honestly say I don't do that shit. I'll work with someone with 10 followers the same as I would with 10,000. And that's a fact. And that's the way it should be. But that's not the way it's gonna be. The way this shit works algorithmically, people are self-serving by nature. They can claim that they're not. Everyone is. Everyone is self-serving. Social media has amplified that by a drastic amount. This wasn't meant to be like a harping session or a podcast. It's just, it's not something that I could just write into a fucking song because 95% of people won't catch it. It's like in most of my music. I write entire stories and maybe, maybe 5% of people who hear it catch it. And I'm cool with that. I like that. Because if you don't really listen, then you ain't my target audience. (laughs) I'm damn sure not going to send you shit.